Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Vault Tutorials. I am Koei TGZ and in this video we are going to do another battle against the new Mega Monster. So that's going to be Sorceress Marlene. But uh, this time I'm going to be using an EO based team. So uh, with this team uh, I'm pretty much going to try to get uh, three different types of uh, status effects on Marlene uh, using three different characters. So uh, here first on my Ranger, I'm going to have my Ranger equipped with the Dimension Dragon Battle Fan. So uh, the main ability for this is going to be Shining uh, Breath, which is a Hado based uh, breath attack. But this also has Flash Bazooka, which is going to be an EO based uh, breath attack. And that also has a chance of inflicting uh, illusion on the enemy. So that's actually going to work out quite well with this battle, I believe. So um, definitely I will be using uh, Breath of Secrets to increase breath damage. And then after that, Flash Bazooka. Then here on my Armamentalist, I'm going to actually have on the uh, Mysterious Tambourine. So uh, while they are not proficient with uh, Boomerangs, um, I think this is actually going to work out well with uh, my uh, Armamentalist. Uh, I needed a weapon that would actually work out well for her, and this also does healing as well. Then um, also another reason why I wanted to have this particular weapon is that it does have a buff for all characters that increases um, weapon and physical technique damage. So hopefully that actually does um, work out well for um, my characters. Then uh, here on my uh, Sage, this is going to be the Scroll of uh, Enlightenment. So again, with my Sage, I'm going to be healing the party as well as using uh, Nukani to lower the defenses of uh, Marlene, which uh, like I did in the previous video, and then here I'm going to have a battle master. So uh, equipped with the it looks here. So I have the uh, so I have the uh, metal slime sword, but actually I want to change this. So uh, it's probably going to be better if I use. Uh, the Miracle Blade, so right here. So this is going to give me, I believe, definitely more damage and also give me some healing as well. So, uh, yes, so with that said, if you want to know more about this team, you can look down in the video description down below. But now I want to go into this battle, so I don't have a whole lot of time left. But this should be plenty of time for me to get through this particular battle. So with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So uh, in this battle, I will be going at this alone since there isn't that much time left. So uh, here, the first thing I'm going to do is use Breath of Secrets to increase my breath damage. Next, with my Battle Master, I'm going to use Protective Shield. And my Armamentalist going to use Henatos. Let's see if this goes in. Yes, goes in. Okay. Then next, with my Sage, going to use Zukani. Spell crit, so it goes in, so no problem. Okay, so there goes Zukanon. So actually, I had uh, my Armamentalist affected. There, hit on my Sage, though. That's actually not bad. Okay, so things are actually going well so far. So here with my Ranger, going to go in and attack. So in this case, just did damage, no other effects. Here, going to use Stemmy. And then here, going to use Hinatos again. And that goes in as well. And then here healing with my uh, Sage and spell crit. And that was actually a crit on the actual spell damage portion of that spell. So, ooh, okay, I got mid up and knee put on my Ranger. So uh, let's see if I go try to attack. Let's see, okay, the attack actually went in. 
So here what I'll do is I will go in and actually go and attack. Okay, ooh, that was a nice crit, so 23,000 damage. Then here what I'll do is I will actually use, let's see, I'm going to use Mysterious Tambourine. So that's going to increase healing. That's also going to increase tech and also spell power as well. So here what I'm going to do is actually, uh, let's see, I'm going to use the uh, Angel Bell. So that's going to cure me of confusion on my Ranger. So right now, um, Sorceress Merlin is actually now down uh, 50% of it, of her health. So here, going to again attack. Hopefully, I can get a Shadow Bind or a Illusion. So in this case, I did get Illusion and also did get a Shadow Bind. So that actually is going to help me out. So here, going to go and attack. Let's see how much damage I do here. So 26,000. Okay, so a bit more damage. And again, with a crit. So here, going to go and use... Um, Force Burst, so increase my spell uh, skill power and also my rate of Force Breaks. And here, going to go in and heal up. Okay, so now here, what I'll do is, let's see, I'm going to lose uh, Breath Damage. Um, still should still be okay. So five thousand three hundred damage there. Then here, here I'm not going to actually um waste that. So twenty one thousand. And then here, what I'll do is I will actually use uh let's see, I'm going to use Baishion. On my battle master, so um, pretty much uh, refresh um, the uh, increased attack power. Then here, what I'll do is I will actually use Skata on my armamentalist. But as of right now, battle is going actually quite well. Um, so next turn, definitely with my. Armamentalist, I want to actually we uh, put on uh, Henitos again, so that's definitely going to be necessary. So here, let's see. Here, I actually go in and attack. So four thousand five hundred damage there, but I did get a Shadow Bind, so that's actually going to help me out quite well. Then here, um, let's see. Just going to go in and attack. 15,000 damage. Here, going to go in and put Hinatos. Hopefully, this doesn't miss. Okay, it doesn't miss, so I can actually put that back on. Then here, what I'll do is I will put back, uh, re-debuff, uh, Lucani, which I believe is, uh, 100% at all time, always. So then here what I'll do is I will actually go and attack again. Here gonna go and attack with my battle master. 16,000 damage. Then here with my armamentalist going to go and use shining bow. Hopefully I can get uh, some force breaks. Okay, I did get a force break, so that actually is going to help me out. So then here, what I'll do is I will go ahead and heal. And does a little bit of damage as well. Just a little bit. Okay, not a whole lot of damage there. Dormodon. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So, um, here with my ranger going to go and attack. 5,000 damage. Let's 
Ooh, okay, she guarded that. Here, Shining Bow. So let's see what happens this turn. So um, the effects of Henitos and uh, the effects of uh, Vukane are still going to be on. So here, okay, good. I got another uh, Shadowbind. And again, another guard. So here, what I'll do is, let's see, here, I'm actually going to go and attack. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go use Battle Demon Release. So she is under, uh, let's see, under 10% of her health. So about, uh, actually a little under 10% or so. Ooh, okay. So that actually did a lot there. Um, let's see. I don't think my Armamentalist can actually do enough damage to actually take her out. So I'm going to read beef. Uh, re-debuff uh, Henatos and also Rukani. So this is actually going to uh, save me uh, from the attacks this particular turn. Okay. Ooh, okay. Good. So uh, the illusion on her actually does really help out. So uh, it only hit my uh, Sage that turn. But uh, pretty much right now with this uh, series of attacks, uh, she's going to go down right here with my Battlemaster. Okay. And here I get a Beasel. Okay, so that was my battle against uh, Sources Merlin. So, uh, yeah, so this battle uh, actually went quite well. Um, pretty much the main strategy was to pretty much keep the debuffs coming on uh, Merlin. So with that on my um, Ranger, uh, pretty much uh, with Flash Bazooka, I was able to get... Um, illusion put on her so she actually missed some attacks not only that i was actually able to get uh shadow binds i want to say about three times during this battle so that actually worked out quite well then here uh with my armamentalist uh putting on the henitos debuff that pretty much helped out a lot in terms of lowering the amount of damage uh, she could take if uh, i didn't have that on uh probably my party would have been in big trouble but uh, yeah, that actually worked out quite a bit. Then also uh, using Mysterious Tambourine to actually increase uh, attack power and also healing power as well. That actually worked out uh, in my favor. Then of course with my Sage, uh, pretty much my Sage uh, main... Uh, the main task was to pretty much just heal my characters, but um, I the other secondary task was to pretty much keep Rukani on... Uh, Merlin in case and uh, so that I can actually get uh, pretty good damage against her with my other characters then also uh, just once I believe I actually did uh, buff up my armamentalist uh, with Skata then here my battle master actually did uh, pretty much the heavy hitting uh, throughout the battle so I believe the most damage I did was about 26,000 so um, that really did help out a lot um, I did actually miss uh, or she Gurlin actually guarded twice so that actually uh, prolonged the battle a little bit bit more so uh, but in the end uh, this uh, character actually worked out quite well so yeah so with that said um, with the next video I'm probably going to try using a Dane based team so with that um, since I have the mysterious tambourine now um, using the mysterious tambourine ability that increases attack power so maybe uh, I can actually get a higher damage uh, with the demon dragon sword so um i might actually try that for the next video so um please stay tuned for that with that said i'm going to end this video here so thank you for watching
If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.